please follow these steps for replacing the print head. First, power down the printer by pressing the power button on the control panel. Once the print engine is turned off, then turn off the main power switch. Lift the lid. Remove the first black cartridge. This will allow you to see the access hole. Using a long flat bladed screwdriver, lower the maintenance station and move the print head to the left. For more detailed information about this step, please review the maintenance video. Replace the black ink cartridge. Remove the two black E-clips from the damper retainer shaft. Be careful not to damage any of the plastic parts. Next, slide the damper retainer shaft out of the way. Now, loosen the screw on the tube clamp and move it to the side. Then peel back some of the tube carrier cover. Place the cover out of the way. When lifting off the dampers, be careful that the screwdriver only contacts the hard white plastic as shown. Using a flat bladed screwdriver, lift off all of the dampers. When done, place the dampers in a position above the ink cartridges. If the dampers are positioned below the ink cartridges, they will slowly siphon ink out of the cartridges. Next, remove the FFC guide by releasing the three tabs on the side of the print head cartridge. Be careful because it is very easy to break these tabs. Next, we will unscrew the three screws that hold the print head in place. Once the screws are removed, you may then lift out the print head. When you lift out the print head, be sure to check that the foam dam remains in place in the print head carriage. Now put on a grounding strap and attach it to the printer's bare metal frame. Note that print heads are very delicate, take extreme care to handle them gently. Carefully remove the flat flex cables and attach them to the new print head. Do this one by one in order to ensure correct cable placement. Make certain the contacts are making good solid connections, otherwise the printhead may become damaged. Write down the printhead ID that is visible on the printed sticker and double check that the white foam dam is still in place. Now place the new print head into the carriage. Replace the screws, securing the print head into position in the order shown here. Tighten just snug and then back off a quarter turn.
Route the ribbon cables through the guides on the print carriage. And then snap the FFC guide back into position. Reroute the ink tubes back to the print carriage. Lubricate the bottom of the dampers and then reattach the dampers in the correct order. The ink tubes are numbered 1 through 8, 1 being located on the far left and 8 being located on the far right. Reattach the damper retainer. Note the dampers need to fit in the parallel grooves on the bottom of the damper retainer. You may need to readjust these dampers so that the retainer fits correctly. Once the cover is on, slide it forward so that the holes for the retainer shaft are aligned. Reinsert the retainer shaft. The shaft should slide in easily. If it doesn't, recheck the damper alignment. Then replace the Eclipse. Close the tube carrier cover. Now close and tighten the tube clamp. Now power on the printer. The print head will now return to the maintenance station. Before resuming printer operation, it is necessary to enter the printhead ID using the Epson Adjust program. Open the Epson Adjust program and select Particular Adjustment Mode. Make sure Port Selection is set to Auto Selection and click the OK button. Under the Adjustment heading, select Input Head ID and click OK. Type in the ID of the new printhead in the box provided and then click Input. Then press OK. You may now exit the Epson Adjust program and printhead replacement is complete.